Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Somebody say talk about JJ Banda. JJ Banda, this is the reason why I said the opposition is not serious. The opposition is stupid. If I'm just looking at you as the opposition, I will not even come and fight a church. You are, you, are, you are a bunch of stupid people. So don't even talk about yourself. JJ Banda, two days before they adopted him, he was adopted. They adopted him. I called him. I told him, come to Nigeria. I'm going to show you my chat with him. I said, come to Nigeria. These guys want to adopt you. This guy want to put you in jail. It's better you come to Nigeria here and fight from here. I will give you accommodation. I told him, come. He didn't come. Just like other opposition. Eddie Galung, Fred Membe. These are not serious people. I just want to bring HH down for free, not because of these people. This group of people are not serious people. So you can't take it from me. If this week I don't see you here, remove me. I'm out. I'm out. I will not you will never hear me talk about politics. And without me, HH will put all of you in jail. And actually, you can't talk from Zambia. If you talk from Zambia, they will put you in jail. But I am the one that will put a church where he belongs. It's only me. No one else can do it. No one else can do it. So don't be fools. Don't be stupid. Don't think that I see a one is a fool. I can just wake up and start fighting a church without agreement. No. You must put hand on paper. So that tomorrow if you deny to say see a one didn't help us. Like you PND is denying. I will have evidence to prove to people that I helped you. That you put hand on paper. If you are not if you are not serious, then you must do things on your own. I am here for you from the bottom of my heart. When you came here, I accepted you. On the phone call chat, I accepted you. If you think that see one will betray you at the end, where is my reputation? I am addressing over 13, 14,000 people at the same time. They are watching me. Where is my integrity if I decide to support you and turn around and support you, PND? Without me, you, you are not going anywhere. Without me, you will not win election. That one is guaranteed. You can try it and see if it will work. It will not work. I am the orator of the election so remove fear from yourself and by the way politics is a dirty game it's a game of risk you must take risk you must take risk not when they tell you ah, see a one is a is a in-law to a church see a one is a brother to a church see a one because see a one is a related to a church and then you say ah i cannot you are a fool politics is business HH can be my my brother. HH can be anything. But so long as he, he decided to do what he's not supposed to do, he will go. Let me to the the the, the chiefs, so, uh, uh, Luapula chiefs, Eastern Province chiefs, uh, 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 Northern chiefs. You are saboteurs. You are cowards. You are, I don't want to insult you so much, but learn something from the Tonga chiefs. Tonga chiefs support their subjects. The problem with you members is 
you like quick money like quick money if government give you one naira you pocket it they buy you with one naira that's why they are building toilet for you calling them palaces toilet there is one they are building in chongwe toilet that's what they are calling palace i looked at it i wanted to cry toilets hey jesus christ of nazareth toilets that's what the the upnd government is building for the kings and they are calling them palaces and you accept it because you are cowards you are chiefs of nothingness You are cowards. I'm telling you, take this from CK1. You cannot stand up for your subjects. When HH was arrested while he was in opposition, the southern chiefs did not rest. Chief Mukini was going to prison to go and sleep, to go and make noise. Because his subject is in the prison. His subjects is in the prison. Chief Monster was fighting every blessed day to have a church removed from prison. Your subjects are being taken to prison like chicken and you are just seated and doing nothing. Why are you chiefs? Do you know the reason why you are called chiefs? It's because you have traditional powers. A president is supposed to bow for you. They are arresting your children. JJ is now in prison. I don't feel pity for him because I told him to come. He, re he refused. I think he was. I think he was afraid. I think he was afraid. I said, "Come! It is time. The time is now. It is now. It's in prison. And the chiefs, the chiefs are watching. You, you cannot go and make noise." A church will not do anything to you. Remove fear from yourself. Be like Chief Mukuni. Many of you are admiring Chief Mukuni today. Chief Mukuni now is a billionaire. He's making deals with the government. If he tells you this land is my own today, you will not do anything because it's now in government. And we are admiring him. Many of you are attending his tradition uninvited. You are worshipping them. Why? Because they are united and they are not cowards. They are not cowards. They are willing to stand up for their children. The chief of JJ, your boy has been in prison without justice and you are seated. What are you doing on that throne? What are you doing on that throne? Stand up, go and fight for your subject. Go and ask a church to release your subjects. Now they have they have nullified the seats for another of your subjects. You are seated. What are you doing on that thing that you call palace? If you cannot stand up, be like Chief Mukuni. Be a warrior. You can never eat if you didn't plant. You can never win. If you didn't fight, rise up and fight. Rise up and fight. Fight for your people. Fight for your children. Say enough is enough. Tell a church, enough is enough. You are not doing anything. You are just relaxed. I'm a chief. What are you chiefing for? That's why people don't respect chiefs in Zambia. They don't respect you, especially chiefs from Eastern Province. Mpe, uh, Chief Mpezeni, is it Mpezeni or what? What are you doing there? Chiefs from uh, Luapula, what are you doing? Can't you see what? You don't want to be like Chief Mukuni. When PF was in power, Chief Mukuni feared no one. Arrest a church, he will go there. Arrest me and a church, he will fight for a church in prison there. What are you doing? Why do you call yourself chiefs and, and doing nothing? What, who are you afraid of? What is going to happen to you? You are a chief. Nothing is going to happen to you. Arise and defend your people.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go